I'm Marty Moore, owner and driver of the Hemi Express Wheel Standard. Welcome to my Hot Rod Garage. All right, we're getting ready to head down to the Jess Conrad Memorial Car Show. We thought we'd go down and shoot some of the cars, but we're getting ready to load up here at the Hot Rod Garage. And I thought I would show you this. We're gonna take this down. This is actually uh, Jess Conrad's truck. And some of you may not know, Jess Conrad was my uncle. He was a truly great man and I, I, I love him dearly. But this is a, it's a 76 Chevy chassis, half ton truck. It's an 81 Kenworth cab. And it's a 91 Chevrolet bed on the thing. My Uncle Jess was an old trucker. He was a steel hauler his whole life. And he, he built this, it's a home built truck. And uh, he, he loved driving this thing. So like I say, this is the first annual, I hope, of, of first of many Jess Conrad Memorial Car Show. And we're gonna take his old truck down there and park it front and center. And also I'll show you here, we're getting the Getting the Express ready to go. We'll load it up. This is the Hemi Express truck. This is mine. This is the wheel stander. Uh, I'll tell you guys some of the history on this that you don't know. Bob Riggle built this truck originally. The Hearst Hemi under glass. This was Bob's old truck. And Bob built this truck. And somehow I got in the driver's seat of it. And I drove it for Bob for years until Bob decided he was getting old enough he wanted to retire and uh, Bob sold me the truck. So it's been Marty Moore's Hemi Express since probably I'm wanting to say the late 90s probably 94. Here's my little keepsake. And people say well how'd that happen? And it's like well it got a little crooked one day and kind of tipped over and we slid down the track a little bit. That was an interesting day. So, standeth by faith. That's kind of my motto. Sometimes that's all that gets me through. A uh, little other history on this truck. Right here, if you can see the serial number on it. It's number four. This was the fourth one that came down the line. So we got our sticker on there, Big Kev. We lost this year. This year was a rough year. We lost uh, lost our crew chief, Big Kevin. Lost my uncle Jess. So, but uh, we're trying to carry on. That's that's what they would want. So, all right, we're going to get this stuff loaded up, and then we'll uh, head down to the show and see what's down there. Folks, I want to ask you again. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost anything. It's not hard to do. Just hit the subscribe button at the end of this video and it'll take you where you need to be. Marty's Hot Rod Garage. All right, guys, I apologize. I'm going to do my best to narrate here for you. We had a lot of good interviews with a lot of the guys at the shows, but the uh, background music was just too loud. So uh, we're going to take the background music out, and I'll do my the best I can to narrate for you, okay?
All right, here I am with Ken Mann. Ken has a 1955 Chevy, and this thing is all dressed out with the Bel Air trim. It's a big block. He has a Tremec TKO 600, five-speed transmission in it. He's put the put a hydraulic clutch in it, and this is just a super nice car. Super nice car. He has uh, fuel injection that he put fuel injection on it. You can also see it has the California, the one piece bumper, and he has custom fit Harley Davidson headlights in it. He has the semi-ghost flames on the side. Those are really nice. And he has bucket seats out of a 1964. Also has the center console on it. Rear bumper, he's got a rear bumper off of a Nomad. Kind of neat. Another nice little touch was this mirror right here. That mirror was off his dad's first car. A little sentimental thing. Here we are with John Stewart. John brought his 1985 R model Mac. It's got a 10-speed, got the Mac engine in it, and he bought this off a farm in Illinois, and it was just a beautiful truck. So glad these guys brought these trucks out for us today. All right, here we are with Ian Irish. This is a blown 454. This is a true rally sport, super sport car. Ian said this thing costs a lot of money. And from the looks of this thing, guys, it, this looks like it would be a lot of fun to drive. Looks like it could be uh, leave a little stain in your fruit of the looms from the looks of that motor and that blower. But just super, super good looking car here. Thanks so much to Ian for bringing this thing out today.
Here was a really interesting piece. This is Jeff Miller. He brought his truck. His truck came out of California. It's a 1958 Peterbilt 351. It was originally an equipment hauling truck. It's got a 355 Cummings with a 5-speed and a 4-speed, 2-stick. And uh, Jeff restored this thing. He stretched the frame. It's got an air ride suspension under it. He added the bunk on it. And this is just a beautiful truck. I mean, the attention to detail on this thing is unbelievable. So glad he brought this thing out. Here was another nice one. This is Carl Moore. He brought his 1970 Roadrunner. This is a real V-code car, the real deal. It's a 446 pack. It's got a four-speed pistol grip shifter in it. It's got a Dana rear end in it. Factory air grabber hood. This thing was loaded up, guys. Had the TikTok tack in it infamous pistol grip shifter. There's the air grabber hood on it. Those things were really neat when you got into them. And the vacuum pulled the hood scoop open. But this car is just unbelievable. Super clean. The underneath of this car was painted. It looked just like the top of it. Probably one of the best restorations I've ever seen. All right, here we are with Jason Lysett. Jason brought a couple cars to the show today. This is a wild looking ride here, guys. Both of them are. But this one right here is a small block Chevy. Not one, but two blowers. Two blowers. This one's making right about 800 horsepower. Drives us on the street. It's a street car, and it is a it is a wild looking ride. So this is his rail that he's been working on. Jason is a man of faith. He said this is about faith, family, and freedom are taking for granted today. This one's making about 1,200 horsepower. It 
was built to run mid sevens, like 750s in the quarter mile, not, not in the eighth, in the quarter. And uh, you can look at this thing if you can't tell. Jason owns his own polish and chrome business. You can tell everything on this thing is shining. And it's just a, it's a beautiful piece. It looks like a piece of artwork. So, so glad he brought this out to the show today. All right, here we are with Russ Morrow, and Russ has got Kevin's old car. People, this was my crew chief, Kevin Finninger. This is his old car, and let me tell you, he knew how to make stuff run. This is a 2006 Magnum. They call this car the Radio Flyer. And like I say, it's Kevin's old car, and Russ owns it now. And this thing on the dyno, people, made 1050 at the rear wheels. You talk about the ultimate sleeper, this is it. This thing is scary fast. It's got a Chrysler 300 front clip on it. And uh, Kevin used to have a lot of fun in this thing. And like I say, it's Russ's now. And they, he takes it out and has a lot of fun in it. So, so glad it was able to be at the show today. It was just a really great show today. I want to thank everybody that came out. And guys, if you like what we're doing on the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It it, it will help us keep them, keep them coming. So subscribe, like, tell all your buddies.